Hi everybody, this is Jen from Scrappy Plast and I'm here with an artistic studio creation design team project. This project was completed mostly on a couple live videos I've done for the past few weeks. And it is using the Stamp Period Music Collection. This collection isn't available anymore, I don't believe. But um, you can use any collection for this album. This was made from all scraps. Uh, da -da -da. I think I had two 12 by 12 uh, paper pads, so 20 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. Before I flip through this, I'll show you the other projects I created with this. Here is this little 4x4 mini, and I think I did a flip through on this one. Yes, I did. I did a flip through on this one, or the similar album. Uh, if you want to see that, I will put in a short clip at the end of a sped up flip through. So that's a 4x4x2 four by four by album I made for with this collection. The original project that I made with this collection is this 9x4 mini album. And this one I have a tutorial for. It was a very long time ago, so... But, yeah, so... And this is an 8 page. Uh, these are going to go up on my auction site, but I have to sew this lace in yet, and I cannot get access to my sewing machine yet, but eventually the ASC auction house, these, uh, this entire collection will be up for auction. And then I have this little violin box. I don't think I can ship this one just because it's so big. It's over 14 inches. And I think the biggest flat rate box is 14 inches long, but it's a gift box and I used a um, silhouette cut file, a Cameo store cut file for this gift box and put it together. And there's the gift bo box part. And yeah, I just thought that was really cute. Uh, I also have one that I use the Graphic 45 um, Love Notes collection, which I thought that was pretty cute too. So there is the violin that I made. And then I was scraping paper together to finish this album, you guys. But at the end, I did make a couple of little tiny card bases. Uh, I still got to get a, like, a main image for that. But this is all that I had left. I threw away no scrap bigger than, like, this. So we'll do the flip through real quick. Um, this is a 8x4x2 by by inch mini album and it's made all from scraps uh, and therefore there is some rather plain pages in it so uh, let's get going here and just shows you that you can actually use less paper and still get a really nice album. I used some of the cut aparts that I had already cut apart. I used this trim border just to add some interest so it's a good way to not use a full width of paper and it can you can actually play with probably about a quarter inch if you have this trim border on there it won't look different and I'll show you later this is actually a paper pieced together so this is a quilted pattern basically took all the long skinny strips and just glued those together uh, this was the like one of the last things I did it was a full piece of paper I actually still had and there is a small, obviously it's a flap with a pocket. These two are also flaps. And when I was putting this together, I probably should have considered that I'm not adding so many flaps. But I did get to use the main image here, which I was pretty happy with. And then some small tags. I did keep the flaps small so as to use more paper this is actually I think from a tag and this is a little scrap piece of paper so now you can see that this piece of paper goes further and almost meets the punch uh, whereas this one was kind of further away so you have probably like an eighth inch less there but you can't really tell this is a long narrow pocket and on this double flap here I was really running out of long enough paper uh, so 
I added the punch again just for cohesiveness and put a piece of cream cardstock under it. And then I had nothing big enough for this 7 and 3 eighths uh, dimension here. So I used a piece of cream cardstock and then just matted it, used it to mat this piece of pattern paper. Two more quilted pieces here. So you always end up with a lot of long narrow strips when you're making albums. And I used those. More quilted here. This is just in a diagonal pattern. And these are magnetic and um, a waterfall. Now I only matted this first one. I could always go through and mat the insides of these uh, with just regular cream paper, but if you're going to put pictures on them anyways, it doesn't really matter. Again, long narrow strips here, and there is your double waterfall pocket, or waterfall page. This one I did a belly band with, I call this like a diaper, so that these didn't fall out because I didn't have uh, a lot of bulk to keep them in, but if you add pictures and stuff, they probably would have stayed in, but uh, that's just for, just in case. Uh, another quilted page there, and a pocket. In this pocket I added a uh, black mat. I used the punch and then just put a cream piece on it. Didn't really need to do all that. It was a little excess, but you know. Uh, and then uh, this is this is a collage sheet for the pack. I think it had tags on the back of it, so I used the collage sheet. And then one of the just a cream, and then a full piece of paper, or it's not a full piece, but you know it's a it's a three and three eighths, I think. And then I used the punch again there. And then in this pocket, I did have this one, uh, like it's an envelope, and you can stick things in that envelope, or you can write on it, or both. I could have cut that apart and used it, but I thought it just added a lot of interest. And then just a plain black piece of cardstock there for that pocket. Kind of gives it a little offset uh, from the cream to the envelope. This last page here is just a full page. It's also quilted. I think my little corners are coming up. And then on the back cover I have just a small flap and a plain piece of cardstock again just kind of to offset and have a little bit of contrast. And then the back is that collage paper. I used the title from the front of the, the very front here, made a little tag out of it using my angle punch, and then I used the cut apart violin on the very front. So I'm just going to put that across the, the front here, kind of like I did on this one, but it would have basically covered the entire violin, or it would have been across the entire thing, and I just didn't think that was... Um, it just didn't look very good. So there are my projects with the Stamp Period Music Collection. It's taken me a couple of years to get all of them done. But uh, yeah, you can, I could even put this in one of these books. Uh, so head on over to ASC Supplies on Etsy or ASCCraftSupplies.com. Use Scrapping Posh 10 for 10% off your normal price purchase. There we go. <laughs> it's in there. And yeah, I hope to see you around. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I fail so depressed when I can't seem to get